Hello Math Wizards, this is Teacher Mel and let us explore the world of math. Today we are going to focus on sum and difference of two cubes. For us to have a better comprehension of this lesson, we must be able to familiarize ourselves with cubes, cubes, and more cubes. Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng cube? Okay, for us to get the cube of a number, we multiply a certain number to itself three times. Here are the cubic number that we must be able to familiarize. For one cube, this one. For two cube, that's equals to eight. For three cube, that is equal to twenty-seven. How do we get twenty-seven? Just three times three times three. 4 cube is equal to 64, just 4 times 4 times 4. As I said a while ago, we are going to familiarize this number for us to easily answer the following or the given problems that I'm going to present to you. So for, let's say if you are going to get the cube root of 216, that's 6. If you are going to get the cube root of 343, that's 7. So you can easily answer the given problem since you already know that the cube root of 512 I just ate. Now we focus first on the sum of cubes. The formula for sum of cubes is given this way. A cube plus B cubed is equal to A plus B multiplied to A squared minus A times B plus B squared. The formula for the sum of cubes is given this way. A cube plus B cubed is equal to A plus B multiply to a squared minus a times b plus b squared. The first parenthesis is just the base of the first and the second term. And then copy lang the sign. The second parenthesis is the first is the uh, the first term is the square of the first term from the given data or the given problem. The opposite of the sign, it's a plus. This would be a minus. And then we multiply the two base, a times b, and then we squared the last term. Kaya meron tayong b squared. Take note of the sign. If it's a plus, if it's a sum of cubes, then the first parenthesis is a plus. And then the second, on the second parenthesis, the first one is the opposite. If it's a sum, then it's a minus, and then plus. Plus, plus din dito. Opposite dito, if it's a plus, it's become negative here, and then it's a plus. Okay, so let's apply the formula. Factor x cubed plus 8, since we know that it's a sum of cubes, we need to use the formula a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay, we write x cubed plus 8 in a format of a cubed plus b cubed. So that becomes x raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 3. So naka cube form na siya. Ayun lang unang gagawin natin. The first step, i write natin in the cube form. The second, ano yung first parenthesis natin? Yung first parenthesis natin ay the sum of the base. Kung it's a sum, if we're going to find the sum, sum siya ng base. Ano yung base natin? x at saka 2. Kaya x plus 2. Kinapi lang natin yung sign. If it's addition, kukopyahin lang natin ang sign. Sign. Multiplied to, ano yung first term natin? Yung square. Ano yung square ng first term? Ano yung, or yung square ng pinaka letter A natin? So, yung square ng x ay x squared minus multiply natin yung a and b. Meaning, multiply natin yung dalawang base. Ano yung dalawang base natin? Si x at saka si 2. So, x times 2. Plus, ano yung dulo? We need to square. I-square naman natin yung pangalawang base or yung second term. I repeat, ganito lang ang gagawin. Sa unang parenthesis, yung sum ng dalawang base, x plus 2. Since it's addition, plus, I mean, multiplied to yung una, the first term, sa so second parenthesis, 
ay yung square ng x or yung square ng first term sa given natin. That would be x or yung pinaka a natin, yung square niyan, that's x squared minus multiply natin. Imo multiply natin yung dalawang base. So x times 2 plus e square naman natin yung last term. Ang last term natin na base ay 2. E square lang natin. 2 raised to 2. Simplify, copy ko lang. So yung x squared become x squared. x times 2 becomes 2x. Another example, factor x cubed plus 64. Ano yung cube root ng 64? Yan, so kung kabisado mo yung uh, cube, cubic number, masasagutan mo agad yon. So ang unang step natin, uh, identify natin kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin. Since it's a sum of cubes, we use the formula a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Ano yung unang step? We put it in a cubic form. So, yung x cubed plus 4 raised to 3. Kasi 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 64. Ayun ang unang step natin. Kapag hindi siya naka-cubic form, the first term and the sec second term, iki-cubic form natin siya. Ano yung second step? Just use the formula. So, yung first Parenthesis is just x plus 4. Bakit? Ia-add lang natin yung dalawang base. Yung unang base natin, x. Yung pangalawang base natin ay 4. Yung bali, yung first term natin ay x. Yung second term natin ay 4. Ia-add lang natin siya, x plus 4. Bakit add? Since it's addition. So, we need to put, uh, we copy lang the sign. Next, i-square natin yung first term. Sa second parenthesis, square natin yung first term. So, this becomes x squared minus opposite nong sign sa given. Since it's addition, opposite of that is minus. And then, multiply natin yung first term and second term or yung pinaka a and b natin. So, x times 4 plus square the last term. May square natin. Ano yung last term natin or yung second term? That's 4. Square natin yung 4. And then, we simplify that one x plus 4 times x squared minus x times 4 i 4x plus 4 times 4 i 16. Therefore, the factor of x cubed plus 64 i x plus 4 multiplied to x squared minus 4x plus 16. Now we move on to difference of cubes. Here's the formula. A cube minus, since it's difference, B cube equal to A minus B times A squared plus AB plus B squared. Okay. So, take note with the sign. So, the first parenthesis, it's minus. Kasi kung ano yung sign sa given, if it's a difference, dapat yun din ang sign sa first parenthesis. So, second parenthesis, mapapansin nyo, this one, it's a plus. Bakit? Opposite nung given. So, kung yung given ay difference of two cubes, this would be a plus sign. And then, the last one is plus. Kasi, we raise that to squared. If we raise a certain number to square, the sign is always positive. So, it's a minus. Kapag minus siya, meaning it's a minus here. The opposite of that, it's a plus here. And always, ito ay plus. Let's have our first example. We have factor x cubed minus 8. Mapapansin mo, it's a minus. Therefore, we are going to use the formula difference of cubes. a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Ano yung unang step? Same lang sa kanina. If it's a difference or sum, ganun lang ang gagawin. We put in cubic form the two terms. Ilalagay natin sa cubic form. So, it becomes x cubed minus 2 raised to 3. Ano yung first? Parenthesis. So, if it's a difference, if it's a minus, we get the 
difference of the two base. Ano yung unang base natin or yung first term natin? X. Yung second term natin or yung pangalawang base naman ay 2. So, x minus 2. Kung ano yung sign ng given, ayun din yung sign ng first parenthesis. Times the second parenthesis, the first one is we square the first term, kaya x squared, plus the opposite, kaya plus kasi opposite ng given. Ang given natin ay minus. So, opposite of that is positive. Times, we multiply the first and the second term, x times 2, or the first and the second base. Plus, i-square natin yung last term or the second base. Simplifying, we have x minus 2 times x squared plus x times 2 ay 2x plus 4. Kasi 2 times 2 or the square of the second base. Here's another example. x cubed minus 64. So, same lang sa kanina, ang difference lang, or ang pagkakaiba lang ay, eto ay, we are going to subtract the two cubes. So, since it's difference of cubes, I mean, since we are going to find the difference of cubes, syempre, we use the formula in the difference of cubes. That, state, that states that a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b multiplied to a squared plus a b plus b squared. A squared, a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. Ano yung unang step? We need to put it in a cubic form. So it becomes x raised to 3 minus 4 raised to 3. Bakit? 4 times 4 times 4 ay 64. Ano yung formula? Okay. Yung first parenthesis natin ay we need to subtract the two base. So, x minus 4. I-copy lang natin yung, yung first term. Minus. Bakit minus? If it's a difference, so dapat minus yung first parenthesis. 4. Kinapi lang natin yung second base. Times e square natin yung first term. Ang first term natin ay x. x times x ay x squared. Plus, opposite. Kung ang given ay minus, we need to put plus here. Mumultiply natin yung dalawang base or dalawang terms. Yung first and second, x times 4. Plus, e square natin yung last term or the second term. e square natin yung base niya. Simplifying, it becomes x minus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 16. Thank you everyone. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'm happy to answer any question. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.